is, you know, what, what exactly is recruiting for? Um, it's turned into this like very weird kind of race to almost nowhere, if that makes sense. Like, and I, what makes me think of this is like, I just, I see so many players jumping into the portal. Um, and uh, again, everybody's situation is different, but I wonder like, did they, did they really give it their chance? Or I guess my, my bigger question is like, what are they after, right? Because football is an incredibly, you know, God, it's an incredibly short shelf life. You only really get to play it four years in high school, four years of college if you're lucky, um, maybe kind of five with the redshirt year, um, maybe a little bit in middle school. I mean, max, 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 you're going to play the sport 10, 12 years. And then that that's really it. Um, I think do players like get the sense that their window is closing and then maybe they jump in the portal sure um, but there's got to be something like a little bit deeper than that and i think it comes down to this idea of potential and we at least i find as a former teacher like in the states we like we worship potential right Everything in K through 12 education is about maximizing who this kid is in front of me. Where could they be? You can go and be and do whatever you want. Um, and that's like, that's a totally fine and great and normal thing. Like you want teachers who want their students to, to be the best and you want parents who want their kids to be the best. Um, and like the crown jewel of potential fulfillment in the United States, um, a lot of Western countries too, is, is college. You know, it's, it's on the mountaintop and every high school in, this, in America that you go to, it's like, you need to do this to go to college and you need to do that to get into a good school and you need to do this and that and this and that. And then you get to college and you're like, okay, well, what was it all for? Um, and I think what, you know, as like parents and stuff, when they're with their kids looking at recruiting, some of that is like you look at college as like the, the train's last stop before you send Johnny on to the rest of his life or Jill. And you, you only kind of get one shot at it, really. I mean, um, and so there's this like crazy paranoia that, and pressure that parents are facing to make sure they don't screw up college for their kid. And then, you know, up comes along uh, recruiting and college sports and athletics and if you're a recruited athlete the the pathway to admissions to a great college is totally different from being a you know just a regular student applicant the coach will peg your name on an excel sheet send it over to admissions and you know essentially you're in i mean you do have to do the application but um the you know playing in college has almost become this like you know Parents are more obsessed, not obsessed, but like they're, they're, you, they're trying to leverage sports to get into a great school. And there's nothing wrong with that. But once you're in that school, like, you know, what's it all for? Because even guys in the NFL don't stick for very long, you know, especially as a kicker, you know, coming from my world, you either kick for, you know, three balls in preseason or you kick for three decades. There's not a lot of in between. You got to be really good and you got to be really lucky to get an opportunity and, and stick. So... I, you know, college has kind of become this like cultural bar mitzvah we, we put our, our kids through and parents feel an immense sort of pride when they, they send their kids to school. But um, I don't think we have working definitions of what college is exactly for. I think it's going to look different for every family. Um, there's a great book called What You Pay for College. And in the intro, the, the author, I forget the guy's name, but it's a great book. You should check it out. What you pay for school or what you pay for college. And, you know, he, he says like, there's four, there's kind of like three, four core reasons people go to college. You know, the first one is you go for, um, you know, economic success, right? Like you're, you're buying future money. The second reason is you go to college for the, you know, academic side of things you go because like MIT has a incredible engineering program, or there's this great, uh, professor you really want to study with over at you know another college and then the third one is you go um, you go for the social scene the networking um, you go because not because you 
you know, there's a particular subject you really like at Duke, but you know that being in that Duke network as you graduate or the Ivy network or whatever is going to give you tremendous opportunities for the next four or five decades. And then the last reason um, is you go because of sports. I mean, that's what the reason I'm adding. Um, the sports were the thing that got you hooked on the school, that got you in. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I think there's the motivation for playing sports in middle school is because, well, now you can, you can work to playing in, in high school from middle school. And then in high school, the motivation for playing sports is, well, you can work your tail off and then play in college, right? But then once you're in college and you fall outside of that like top one or two percent of athletes who can say they're working to the NFL legitimately, there's, you know, what you're kind of faced with like this intrinsic crisis of like, I'm not going to the NFL, I'm getting beat up. What's my intrinsic motivation for continuing to, to put up with this and put up with being second or third on the depth chart uh, when I could just go on the portal and transfer and, and try to maximize my playing time the last couple of years? Um, there's no, you know, what, what should be like an intrinsically motivated thing for a lot of players is very externally motivated. Um, and so I would challenge anybody watching this, if you're like a parent or you're a player and you're in the thick of recruiting, um, you're trying to play in college, maybe you're, you know, maybe you're contemplating the transfer portal. Um, I, I would encourage you to like really sit down on a beach or on a mountain or by a creek or somewhere, somewhere by yourself and just like think about like, okay, like what, what does success look like for me? What does it look like for us? Because there will be a moment as a high school recruit when the graphics go away, when the coaches aren't so nice to you, when you're sitting alone in your dorm room on a Tuesday during preseason and you'll be on the verge of tears wondering like, oh God, what am I doing here? <laughs> Part of that's normal. I think most people have that experience in college, but, um, or some kind of like freak out moment. And then, um, and then if you're in the portal or something, or you're thinking about going to the transfer portal, just think about like, you know, again, like what, what am I doing here? Is it, do I love this game enough to continue playing or, oops, a little windy here. Do we love this game enough to, you know, kind of continue playing? Uh, or 